Hey guys, today's video is going to be about skincare products and how I do my nighttime and morning time routine. I'm going to show you my the products that I used all the time and how much I love them and kind of do a bit bit of review in each one of them. This is my cleanser. I've been planning to do a review on this because I have been loving this one. This is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser for acne prone skin. Now I don't have perfect skin apparently. My skin is like oily and I need to choose products that are for oily skin to get rid of that oiliness. And so you want to choose the products that you're using. Make sure it's um, it's a type of your skin. My skin is also acne prone skin as you can see I have a scar there like a big scar from my pimples. I also have pimp like a little bit of pimple under my brows and a bit right here. Especially when I'm getting my period it's like boom there's all like pimples especially in my forehead and I've been noticing it's getting like down here and also in my like brows over here so but I'm getting rid of that real soon. I'm noticing it it's getting into like really thing that I love about it is it's foamy like is that even a word for me um it's soapy it's kind of like I'm gonna show you this one pump like that you know how some cleansers are like cream and they feel like conditioner like hair conditioner and I don't like that it's just it's just like cream on your face and it doesn't feel like it's doing anything so I prefer this ones that are like soapy ones and when you actually scrub it on your skin it actually feels very gentle and very soft it smells good as well and that's another thing that I love about it it smells like I recommend this especially for people who have acne prone skin so make sure you get this drugstore I started using this and it actually gets rid of uh, like after cleansing my face you, apply, you should apply a toner before moisturizing it. I think that's a way. I just do it that way. That's my way. Um, yeah, you should tone it. The toner's purpose is to get rid of the extra dirt on your face that the cleanser doesn't fully does. So um, this gets rid of all those like dirt, and you'll see. It does help to clean your face, and in the morning you feel very refreshed, and you see like your skin feels soft and amazing so I recommend this as well I've been using this I stopped for like months because I've been getting lazy to use toner and you know follow all those steps then I thought my skin is getting really worse so I should do those step by step things my new cleanser that I've just used um, I bought this like three weeks ago and this is the Clean and Clear Oil Free Dual Action Moisturizer. Moisturizer. It is medicated to help treat and prevent pimples. This feels really cold on your skin. For it's gonna feel really cold for like about a minute. You're buying this or planning to buy this, or you're interested about it. Don't even apply it on your um, eyelids. It's. I mean, it's not bad. It's not gonna like kill it, but it's gonna burn. It's gonna like not burn, but feel really really cold it's not not burn yeah feel really really cold that you're gonna be like uh that's cold um an eye makeup remover I don't use an eye makeup remover unless I have heavy makeup I don't use this with like eyeliner I just get rid of it with a cleanser I forgot to mention this cleanser doesn't um hurt your eyes even though it gets into your I'm eyes. I'm saying that some cleansers can like burn when it gets into your eyes, but this one doesn't do that. So, and this one as well. You know how most eye makeup removers like burns your eyes when it gets just a bit into your eyes. This doesn't do that. This is the, the Nivea Visage gentle gentle eye makeup remover, and it's actually gentle. Um, it gently removes water soluble makeup. And it says for all skin types, so I am qualified for this product because it's for all skin types. You can get this at drugstore. Basically, everything that I've showed you except this one, you can get at drugstore. This one you can get from Fruits and Passion. But the thing is, it's not too strong, so it doesn't like it doesn't remove makeup as fast as 
some makeup removers that are too strong. But it doesn't hurt your eyelids anyway, so. It'll be this eye cream, this Vasanti Eye Wonder. Uh, it says triple action eye treatment cream. And nothing special about this. It just it just moisturizes my eye, my eyelids. And <coughs> the only thing I don't like about this is when you apply too much on your um on your eyelids, the next day when you wake up, you're gonna see like your eyelids are so puffy and you, it looks weird. It just look it looks like you're you got you just got bitten by a some insects out there. So don't apply too much. Um and in every other eye cream you're not supposed to. I've heard exfoliating um scrub. And this is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub Exfoliating. I just tried this once and it pretty much worked well the other day. But I'm not going to recommend it or say anything yet because I just tried it once because I just bought it like two days ago. It's supposed to exfoliate your skin every single day. Um, three times a week would be, I think, uh, good. It doesn't say anything here how often you're supposed to do that. But I've heard a lot of gurus and a lot of people saying that you're not supposed to exfoliate your skin all the time like all the, all day but you are supposed you are supposed to have it at least three two to three times a week so look at that my glycome that I always feature in my videos glycome foot balm I don't apply this every single day just probably three times a week three times a week just because I'm too lazy to do so but I love it it's like pepper it's peppermint oil actually and it feels really 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 moisturizing on your feet because when you're in the winter time your feet tends to like crack a bit and really gets really dry so you need to apply something <coughs> on it Bath and Body Works Body Lotion this is another one that I have fe featured in my video one of my videos and um, this is the Green Clover and Aloe Body Lotion as you can see, I'm almost done. Um, I got this for... It was not sale when I got it, but regularly, it's $11. So, <clears throat> I would buy it again. It smells so good. It's The moisturizing is... I'll, I'll give it 10.5 out of 10. It doesn't have that, like, an extreme moisturizing power, but I still love it. Moisturizing enough for me, enough for my skin, and... It, the smell doesn't smell too strong so this is the lady spit stick um, deodorant it, it's an orchard blossom and it doesn't stain dark um, clothing it doesn't stain it this is the clean and clear Percy gel 5 acne medication it, this is like my pimple hero it gets rid of my pimples right away I have my cotton buds in my box so i hope you guys learned something or enjoyed something or interested of trying trying something i'm gonna post all the pictures of these things and like where i got it from in my blog so better check it out right now it's right there or yeah in the sidebar over there click the link i'm gonna say click the link for my blog so click the link there. Make sure you follow me, please, please, on my blog. Um, I'm starting to get into like blogging now, and also follow me on Twitter. I have been getting requests um, from um, my followers to do a room tour because my room is new, and my room is so freaking messy, and I don't even know when to where to start. So <coughs> yeah. So you guys check out my vlog. I'm gonna yeah, as I've said. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.